Hi friends, welcome to day 20, our final day in the National Poetry Month vlog challenge. Today's featured collection is Geographies of Light by Lisa Suhair Majaj. I read this in 2021 as part of a class. It's a beautiful book, and I remembered it being very beautiful, but I really selected it for the title. I wanted our last book and the last title in our last week's spine poem to be a positive one. However, I had completely forgotten how dark this book actually is. There's a lot of darkness here, but it's the human condition variety of darkness. It's nothing new. It's all stuff that we have to grapple with and attempt to change, hopefully, for future generations. And I hope all the collections I featured this month have conveyed that in one way or another, despite their darkness. There's a quote in a blurb on the back of this book from someone named David Williams that I think conveys this concept really well. He writes, these poems make you catch your breath, then breathe more deeply. I hope today's poem and every poem that I featured this month does that for you. This is practicing loving kindness. Bless the maniac barreling down the one-way street the wrong way, who shakes his fist when I honk. May he live long enough to take driving lessons. Bless the postman puffing under the no smoking sign. When I complain, my mail goes mysteriously missing for months. Bless all those who debauch the air, the mother wafting fumes across her baby's carriage, the man whose glowing stub accosts a pregnant woman's face. May they unlearn how to exhale. Bless the politicians who both give and receive bribes and favors. Bless the constituents seeking personal gain, the thieves, the liars, the sharks, and bless the fools who make corruption easy. May they be spared both wealth and penury. Bless the soldiers guarding checkpoints where women labor and give birth in the dirt. Bless the settlers swinging clubs into teenagers' faces, the boys shooting boys with bullets aimed to kill, the men driving bulldozers that flatten lives to rubble. May they wake from the dream of power, drenched in the cold sweat of understanding. May they learn the body's frailty, the immensity of the soul. Bless the destroyers of Faluha, the wreckers of Babylon, the torturers of Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo Bay. May they understand desolation, may they comprehend despair. Bless the peacemakers, the teachers, the word workers, the wavers of flags and the makers of fighter jets. May they know the ends of their labor and the means. May they make reparations, may they rebuild. Bless this planet, so cudgeled, so bounteous, the rainforests, the tundra, the ozone layer. May it persevere beyond our human follies. May it bloom. Bless cynicism. Bless hope. Bless the fingers that type, the computer that processes, the printer that prints. Bless email and snail mail. Bless poetry books that cross oceans in battered envelopes, bearing small flames of words. Your final prompt is to practice loving kindness in the vein of Lisa Suhair Majaj. Make a list of everything that annoys you and everything that restores you, and write a poem where you incorporate both types of things. And with that, let me wrap this video up. Thank you so much for joining me today and every day of this challenge. It's been such a wonderful month, incredibly difficult at times. I remember the caramel. I don't think I'll ever do anything quite like this again, but it was a lot of fun. I didn't get as much poetry written as I'd hoped, hardly any if I'm being honest, but reading through so many collections so fast left me feeling incredibly invigorated and inspired, and I'm so excited to take that energy into next month and the rest of the quarter. I think I will eventually answer all the prompts just to see if I can, and if you've done them too, I'd love to hear from you, so please do comment whenever you see this video and let me know what you did this month. We'll return to weekly videos starting next Thursday, so I'll see you then. Bye!